So let's say you're a content creator and you are ready to monetize your audience. You want to build a community, get some monthly recurring revenue. You might be wondering which platform is the better fit for me to build that business on, Kajabi or Patreon? These are two very different platforms that have very different strengths and weaknesses. And in today's episode, I'm going to break down who is a better fit for which platform because there's a real big difference here. I want to make that clear and how to know which platform to choose and how to best grow your monetized community with either one. Let's discuss. Welcome to episode 119 of The Graham Cochran Show, where I'm here to help you build your online business, work less, and live and give more. I'm your host, Graham Cochran. Thanks for hanging out with me. Today, we're going to dive into two platforms that I love and I've used that both have strengths and weaknesses. It will be unbiased. I'm telling you, I've used both of these, and I can tell you which direction to go based off of your needs. So I hope this will be very, very helpful, and it'll be really to the point. Before we dive in, though, real quick announcement. I've been running an amazing free online workshop called my Six Figures and Beyond Workshop. It's a three-part series. We are in the middle of it right now as of this video going live. The third and final part of the video drops tomorrow, which is Wednesday, August 4th. So I don't know when you're watching this, but hopefully if you're watching this while it's going down, go check it out and learn some of my best strategies to take your business to six figures a year and beyond. It's free. It's up for a limited time. So please catch the videos before they come down. Just go to grahamcochran.com slash six figures, all spelled out, S-I-X figures, grahamcochran.com slash six figures and get the three-part training. All three parts are there. Part three drops tomorrow, I should say, but the first two parts are there, and if you're watching this after the fact, I'm going to leave up the videos for a few more days, um, and it's going to be a lot of practical, some of my best teaching on how to grow your business to six figures and beyond. It's a limited time training, so please watch it, grahamcochran.com slash six figures. And Friday, this Friday, August 6th, I am reopening the doors to my private coaching community, Graham's Six Figure Coaching Community. This is an amazing resource where I've got a ton of online business owners just like you who come together every single day inside of a private community. We have live coaching calls with me. There's a brand new masterclass training that I upload every single month teaching you different aspects of scaling your business to six figures and beyond. And that's only gonna be open for a limited time too. So make sure you check that all out at Graham Cochran dot com slash six figures when that drops on Friday the 6th. Don't want you to miss that because the doors are going to close and they'll be closed until next year. So this is a great opportunity to join my favorite community in the world because it's mine. And there's some amazing business owners in there. If you're on my email list, you'll get details and you'll know all the details about pricing and what's inside and all that stuff. So I don't want you to miss that. But if you're not on my list, then make sure you go to grahamcochran.com slash six figures and you'll get details there when the doors open. All right, let's move on to the content. I got a great email from one of my students, Ann Jeanette, and she said, I would love for you to do a comparison between the Kajabi, between Kajabi and Patreon as a way of building products, memberships, and community, especially for artists or bands or other content creators. Love the question. I'm going to answer it really clear and succinctly for you here today. Number one, you got to understand these are two very different platforms. So let's dive into what each of them does, and then I'll break down what Patreon is great for and what Kajabi is great for, and subsequently who each platform is great for. Um, Patreon is a crowdfunding platform. So Patreon came out and kind of became this first monthly supported crowdfunding platform. Think of Kickstarter or Indiegogo or GoFundMe, any of these one-time crowdfunding platforms were like, hey, we need to raise $20,000 for this thing. And you get people to donate money um, to your cause. And a lot of times they would get swag or gifts or shout outs based off of how much they gave, but they're just giving you money basically to your cause. And it's to raise a certain amount one time. Patreon comes out and was created for creators, artists. It was founded by a musician. 
Okay, so the idea was, man, it's hard for musicians to make a living. What if we created a platform where you could crowdsource and get crowdfunding monthly? Because that's what our bills are. They're monthly. We don't need to raise money once. We need the money every single month. So what if you could have some patrons, people who want to support you, like patrons would support artists for the, since the dawn of time, kings and queens and other people would uh, give sums of money to artists to paint something or to write an orchestra or whatever it would be, right? So that model, but done monthly. And so this is great for, you know, it, it was imagined for a lot of musicians and YouTubers who are creating content. It's like, hey, support me every month or every time I upload a video or upload a podcast or whatever it would be. And it could be a dollar an episode or $5 a video or $5 a month or however you want to give. And based off of how much you support, um, we're going to like give you some swag or give you access to certain things, right? It's like listener supported radio, NPR. I mean, it's like any of these platforms, but it was aimed for creators. And so there's that monthly recurring revenue thing where you can then just get support for your content. And then there's other things you can do inside of it. You can start to build a community, do private stuff, which is really cool. Kajabi, I've been talking about Kajabi all month if you've been following along. So I won't talk about it at length here, but it is an online platform to host your entire online business. People use this for courses, memberships, coaching, hosting their website, doing webinars, email marketing, the whole thing. Um, there are two very different product offerings, two very different pricing models, and they have two very different, I think, audiences that could benefit from them, okay? So let's start with Patreon. And I will let you know, I have used both. I've had a Patreon account since the, the day it went live because um, one of my friends, Peter Hollins, is best friends with the founder of Patre Patreon. So when Patreon was like in beta and it was just coming out, Peter was like, you got to jump on this platform. So I made a, a Patreon account and I had supporters and all that, all the whole rigmarole. Uh, and I used it for a long time. I'll You can, the short answer is, you know where I landed. I landed more on Kajabi because it was a better fit for my business model and what I wanted to do. And I'll explain that in a minute too. But my buddy Peter still uses Patreon and it's been a great thing for him as a YouTuber who's making music videos every other week on YouTube. Uh, he supports his family through Patreon. It's incredible. But here's who Patreon is great for entertainers who aren't creating products, okay? Literally, a YouTuber who just uploads free YouTube videos, music, comedy, pranks, anything. Anything where they're just uploading free YouTube videos or podcasters that just have a big podcast and people listen. Patreon is perfect for these types of people to monetize that audience. You've got people enjoying your videos. You've got people enjoying your podcast. You can tell them, hey, I hope you're enjoying this content. If you are, please consider supporting me because what I do is free. Now, if you're a YouTuber, you know that YouTube has now created their own version of Patreon, basically, where you can join and support your favorite YouTubers directly through YouTube. It's kind of eating away at Patreon in that regard, but it's the same model, right? It was That was a reaction to Patreon is what a lot of YouTubers and podcasters were using it for. It's like, look, you're not buying anything from me, but support me with a dollar an episode or $5 a month. Like, help me to keep keep this alive. And it's an amazing day and age where your audience wants to support you. They really do. They don't even have to buy anything from you. They want to support you with a few bucks a month or a few bucks an episode. They can do that. And it allows them to feel some buy-in. And you can, of course, give them additional private you know, videos or access to a private community once they become a patron, all those types of things. But it's great for entertainers because they're not selling knowledge. They don't have a course or a product to sell. They're just, they're good at building an audience and entertaining, you know, so why not monetize that? It's very easy to do it, right? The second group of things or people that Patreon is great for, and one thing that Patreon is really good at is it allows you to get monetization without having to build anything. You don't have to build a course or build a funnel or, a landing page. You really just shoot a video, update your profile, pick your support, you know, amounts um, and whatever bonuses and freebies you want to offer. And you just share your Patreon link and you just talk about it. It's very low friction, which is great. Kajabi is a really good fit for educators. If you want to teach something or you are teaching something, thought leaders, uh, mentors, things like that. 
and coaches. If you coach one-on-one clients, you probably have general coaching advice that you give people. So if you're teaching, educating, a thought leader, you're an author, Kajabi is great for you because you're probably creating your own product. You probably have a course or two or three. You probably want to sell coaching or group coaching or a mastermind or something like that. Kajabi allows you to do that. Kajabi is also great if you want to own your own brand and monetize your knowledge the way that you want. What do I mean by this? Here's one of the big differences is the pricing structure, right? Patreon, the way they get paid is they take a cut of your your patrons' support. So it's starting at 5% and 8% and 12%. There's three little tiers depending on what you want from Patreon, some of the bonuses you get. But at minimum, you're having, they're gonna take um, the credit card fee right? Which makes sense. That would be gone anyway. Uh, plus 30 cents for every payment. And then they're going to take 5% of your revenue. So if you're bringing in, you know, $1,000 a month, well, then they're going to take, what's the math on that? 10% would be $100, so 50 bucks. They're going to take 50 bucks a month of that, right? Plus any of the credit card processing fees. And then if you're on the pro plan, it's 8%. The premium plan is 12%. So that is how Patreon makes a living is you raise the support just like any of these fundraising platforms. They take a percentage of the funds that you raise. It's just on a monthly basis. Again, that's not a negative in the sense that like it costs you nothing to get into it. It's easy to get started. And that's just the cost of doing business. But eight to 12%, that's a big chunk of your revenue. If you're building a big business, if you want to be doing $10,000 a month based off of monetizing your audience, your community, that's a big chunk of change coming, you know, we're talking hundreds of dollars a month that are gone, $1,000 a month, you know, 1200 bucks, right? If you had a $10,000 uh, a month revenue stream on Patreon and you're on the top plan, that's 1200 bucks a month. It's not going to you, it's going to Patreon. Whereas Kajabi, it's just a different pricing model. It's not better or worse. It's just different to pay, depending on your needs. They charge you monthly for the software. It's service you know, uh, software as a service. It's a SaaS product. So starting at 119 a month on up, you're paying to have an account to do all the things, but it's a fixed amount of money. They never take a cut of what you make, which is great if you're making a lot of money, right? I would not want to give up a cut of what I'm making to somebody right now because the numbers are insane, right? When you're doing over a million dollars a year, you don't want to be giving 12% of that to somebody. Um, so I'll pay the 119 a month or whatever it is for you know your choice of Kajabi plan and then keep the, more of the revenue myself. So it just depends on, on the pricing. You got to understand the pricing difference. But then also keep in mind, it's not just them taking, Patreon taking money versus Kajabi just having a flat fee for whatever plan you choose. It is Patreon, you're building your, your brand on a Patreon platform. It's on their site. Um, it's their branding in a lot of ways. It's their way of doing business and you're limited to the way they allow you to monetize your community. Whereas Kajabi is more like you building your own website that's branded the way you want. They're just hosting it for you. You creating the products you want, the way you want, charging what you want, how you want. Some of it's free, some of it's paid, whatever you want. You're creating an online presence that's completely custom to you and allows you to run your business the way you want. Maybe you don't want recurring stuff. Maybe you don't want recurring support. Maybe you want one-time payments, lifetime access to your community. You can do that. Maybe you want your community to be free, and then you upsell into courses. You, you can do that. You could do whatever you want because it's it's more of like a playground or a sandbox where you build the business the way you want, where Patreon is a little more focused, which is great because it's simple, and it's easy to understand and easy to get into, but... As you get more creative, you might have more things you want to build out or not. So it just depends on what you want. So let's go back to Anjanette's question. If you're an artist or a band or a content creator, what's the best way of building products, memberships, and community? Patreon or Kajabi? Well, Patreon doesn't allow you to make courses as far as I know. Um, it's really just monetizing access to your, your content and a private community. And I'm, I haven't been in Patreon in a while, so I don't know the, the details of their private community aspect, but you're kind of limited to what you can sell because um, you're really just getting support monthly. 
So if you want to build courses and sell them, you're going to need a course platform. And so that's what Kajabi does. And in that regard, you might as well just go with Kajabi if you're going to sell courses. If you want to have coaching, and Kajabi's rolling out a coaching product any day now where you're able to have content and then schedule live calls and go one-on-one with your clients, you're going to want to do that in Kajabi. Um, Kajabi also is more than just monetizing stuff. It's your website and website hosting. You can now run your podcast, host your podcast right inside of Kajabi, and it pushes to Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts, Spotify, right? So now it's your your podcast host. Um, And then, of course, you can do everything from webinars to membership sites to communities to courses. So it's your email marketing. So it's so many more things. You don't have to do it all at once. But again, if you're talking about products and courses, Anjanette, then I think Kajabi makes more sense. Let's just look at community and then the recurring membership thing, because I think that's what you're trying to compare. You have an audience, you're making content online, you want to monetize it monthly. What's the best fit? If you think you you can teach, if you think you're willing to just learn a little bit about building a product, writing some emails, diving into some of the stuff that I'm teaching here every single week on the show, I think Kajabi is the better long-term play. Once you get into Kajabi, you're going to realize how amazing it is to build whatever you want and monetize your knowledge. If that scares the crap out of you and you're like, dude, I don't want to build anything, then I would say Patreon. Because Patreon is going to get you the recurring revenue that you want and allow you to create create a private community and get that membership site type of lifestyle based around what you're already doing every week or every day or every month or whatever, whenever your content schedule is. Patreon, again, is easier to get in and into. And I really, really like that. Kajabi people get in and realize, whoa, I got to build stuff. Yeah, you got to build stuff. Now, you don't have to build a massive course and you don't have to know a ton about sales copy, but they have one-click pipelines that will build out your whole course and build out your funnel and you just edit it from what they've built from the template. But it is still work up front to get your first thing launched and it can seem a little scary. So there's that's that's something to think about. And if you're truly an artist, this is the question I get when I get brought onto summits or uh, podcasts for musicians and they're like, all right, Graham, I'm a musician. I want to monetize my brand. I know I need to start thinking like a business and I can't just rely on selling my music or streaming revenue because Lord knows that's almost impossible to live off of. They understand they need to monetize their community a bit and their fan base. And so then the question is, do I start a Patreon channel or Patreon page or do I create my own fan club? And I would do that with something like Kajabi. Again, Patreon's a little bit easier, but there's something cool to be said about if you go the Kajabi route, you could create a fan club where you can do private live streams which I know you can do in Patreon, but you can do it all inside of your private Kajabi account. You can do courses if you think about it, but you don't have to do any courses. It can just be a community because Kajabi has a Facebook group type community baked inside. You have the community so they can chat with you. You can do live streams inside. You can offer digital downloads. You can do all kinds of stuff, but you can own the product, charge what you want. It's a fixed amount instead of the listener supported or viewer supported, you know, pay what you want. It's like, hey, eight bucks a month or 10 bucks a month, everyone's paying the same. So you can project your revenue better, you get better analytics and you keep 100% of that. There's a lot you can do to create your own branded fan club inside of Kajabi. And if you are planning on making a lot of money with this, it you can see why owning the, the content, owning the audience and not having to pay a cut of it can pay out in the long run. In the short term, I don't mind giving 5%, 8% to Patreon. When you're making a few hundred bucks a month, even a couple thousand a month, it's worth it to just get started and that's the cost of using the platform. But the moment your 5% goes over a hundred bucks a month, you're getting closer to like just get Kajabi because then you're going to be capped at that 119 a month or whatever their lowest plan is. And that's that's when you start to keep more of the revenue. So it depends on how, you, how big you think it's going to get. You can always start on Patreon and move to Kajabi. A little bit of a hassle at that point, but there's no harm in doing that as well. But if you're, again, if you're like, I don't have the brain space to think about building that out, I just want to continue doing my weekly content, go Patreon. Two very different platforms. So I would suggest you look into both. 
I can vouch for both. I've made money on both. But as someone who has his own products and understands that there's, in my mind, more money to be made by owning my brand and having it on my own site and my own platform and my own ecosystem where I can charge what I want and try different things and create bundles of things and all that kind of stuff, Kajabi was the better fit for me. So I closed down my Patreon page because I stopped supporting the freebies there and told people to just come over and check out what I'm doing here on the site. And some people were for it, some people were against it, but I've done it all. I've had a... Uh, a custom built app where people paid monthly, like a dollar a month or $2 a month to get um, upgraded content inside the app. I've done Patreon. I've done ad revenue. I've done Kajabi. I've done it all. And Kajabi really allows me to run a business, which even as an artist or a band, I would treat yourself like a business engine. I would view yourself as a business. And that's why hopefully you're ingesting this material every week. Start to think about the bigger picture of like, it's not just monetizing my audience a little bit. What else could I offer them that could really tip the scales? This is some of the stuff I'm talking about in my Six Figures and Beyond workshop. There's things you can do with a small fraction of your audience that would be willing to pay you premium amounts for certain access to you that could skyrocket, double, triple your income. And it's only a small fraction of people that would do it. Most people are doing the base model, but there's a small group of people that helps you really scale your income. It's harder to do that on a platform like Patreon, a lot easier on Kajabi. If you haven't played with Kajabi, check it out for free. Use my link if you want to support me. It's just grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. If you sign up there, not only are you going to get a free trial uh, to play around with it, but you're also going to get two free bonus courses for me. One, the moment you join on everything having to do with Kajabi. is called Ready, Set, Kajabi. And you can use it to like figure out how to build your first product and website and everything in Kajabi right away and some of my best ninja tactics that I use in Kajabi. And then if you do become a paying member, it's awesome. It doesn't cost you anything extra to use my link, but part of your payment comes back to support me in this channel, which is awesome. And when you do that, I'm gonna send you another bonus course, my three-step sales copy formula course absolutely is my gift to you because you became a paying member of Kajabi through my link. So you can just always email me your receipt when you do that. All those details are at grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. Go to Patreon, check out their situation, make sure the pricing makes sense for you if that's a better fit for you. And you can start right away and you can push people to your Patreon page and see how they respond for sure. And then if you're like, like I said at the beginning, ready to scale your business, or you're like curious as to how do you reach $100,000 a year or more in your business, I'm running this limited free workshop, three-part series, video three drops tomorrow, August 4th. I want you to watch it. The first two are already out. They're awesome, super didactic. I think you're getting a ton of value out of them, but they're a limited time. They're going away, so watch them before I take them down. GrahamCochran.com slash six figures, all written out, S-I-X figures. GrahamCochran.com slash six figures. You can check out the three-part Six Figures and Beyond workshop. And then you can get notified the moment the doors open for my Six Figure Coaching Community, which might be a great fit for you. If not, don't worry about it, but at least you can check it out and see if you're ready for it. Doors open limited time on Friday the 6th, and then they're gonna close in a week, and then they're closed for, until next year. So this will be your chance to join. If that's interesting to you, if you're on my email list, then you know this, you're gonna get all the details. I'll bug you for a few days about it, give you a chance to join and see if it's the right fit for you and your business. That's it. I hope that answered your question, Anjanette. I promise you this video, I promise you this episode, and there it is. Thank you for listening. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, thank you for watching here on YouTube. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you use either one of these platforms. Do you use Patreon? If so, let me know your experience with it. I have so many friends that have made so much money off of it and love it. And if you're using Kajabi to run your business or community, let me know below. How are you getting on with that? What's your favorite part of Kajabi? I'd love to know. I love all my Kajabi friends as we speak Kajabi. And uh, most importantly, I hope you stay healthy and safe. And I hope you're having a lot of fun growing your business, serving people well. And I'll see you on another episode real soon. Mm -hmm.